What's up guys, Nurse Blake here, and welcome to simplenursing.com. Before we start today's video, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our new study guides not on YouTube. Click the link right up here anytime during this video. All right, let's get to it. Before you start memorizing all the signs and symptoms, let's always recall the patho. So with pericarditis of the heart, it can't fully expand because of all that pressure around it which means the heart can't pump out oxygen-rich blood to the body. And since oxygen is the money of the body, without oxygen, your body goes broke and dies. So we'll see complaints that all stem from low oxygen and pain in the heart, AKA decreased cardiac output. So remember the acronym, Pained Heart. P is for precordial chest pain, and this is a test tip. This kind of chest pain is from a friction rub that radiates to the left side of the neck, shoulder, or back and pain worsens with deep breathing and laying supine. But write this down. The pain gets better when sitting up and tripoding or leaning forward. A is for AFib, also called atrial fibrillation, which I call the fireworks show in the top of the heart because the atria are pumping out of control. In pericarditis, the lack of oxygen to the heart can cause patients with a history of AFib to slip into this condition. I is for increased temperature or fever. Now this is another test tip usually because pericarditis is caused by a viral infection. N is for neck pain, radiating from the chest. E is for elevated white blood cells. Again, another test tip. This is because of the virus, or the bacterial infection are usually the cause of pericarditis. D is for dysphagia, or pain when swallowing, due to the heart sac enlargement putting pressure on the chest. H is for heart sounds. Again, another test tip, and it sounds sort of like this. The pericardium is so inflamed that it makes a weird noise when it beats. This is called pericardial friction rub. E is for elevated ST segment, usually present in extreme conditions. ST elevation happens from all the pressure squeezing the heart's ventricles, not allowing it to expand and relax, sort of like a big cramp. A is for auscultate. Remember that sound we just heard? That was a pericardial friction rub, and it sounds like leather rubbing together, classically heard near the left lower sternal border. R is for really tired or fatigued from the lack of oxygen that the heart isn't pumping. And finally, T, for tripoding, leaning forward. This takes pressure and pain off the heart, so you'll see patients do this often. Now again, monitor for muffled heart sounds and a drop in a systolic blood pressure by 10 points, known as pulsus paradoxus. Okay, so now that we know the signs and symptoms, let's take a look at what we can't see with the naked eye, the common labs. All the labs will work. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click up right here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts for helping us make these great videos. See you guys next time.